All right, it's time to get to work. So we've been hiding something from you guys and we want to bring you in on a little, really long, big secret. For the last two months, our friend Owen Barlow, he has a channel, it's called Owen Barlow, has been helping us build the world's largest off-road limo. This has got to be the dumbest, coolest thing we have ever done in our entire lives. So we're going to spare you all the really fun stuff, like installing the axles and all that cool stuff. So you're going to want to head over to Owen Barlow's channel, check out the build. Now, we are going to show you guys a little bit in this video, and we've got some Bronx Star stuff to do. So oh, I'm so excited to finally get to tell you guys about it, because it has been a complete radio silent secret. You guys knew nothing about this limo. <laughs> Maybe you did. Did any of you know? If you did, drop us a comment. Let us know that we're terrible at keeping secrets. A lot of people thought it was a derby car. Joke's on you, it's a limo. And we're gonna have a lot of fun. And this is gonna go up Hell's Gate in Moab, Utah. There's a pond in there. Look at that beautiful, beautiful interior. This is so sick. Wow. Putting a drain hole in for the lake. Whoa! Don't touch it. All right, so if any of you have been wondering what we are doing with the limo, you're gonna wanna head over to Owen Barlow's channel and check out the installation of these one-ton axles. This thing's turning out so cool in such a bad way. It's got ballistic shocks. We bought those used off a of marketplace. They're 16 inch coilovers and we've used all Barnes four wheel drive suspension. So we put a super duty steering box in it. We did a drop, pitman arm, got all the angles correct. This thing is gonna be the coolest thing at Easter Jeep Safari. Push, Link. Don't ruin the bumper. Sorry. I don't even care what anybody said. This is the coolest thing I've ever seen. All right, I'll grab the skid loader. We're gonna get this thing lifted up. Well, you gotta put the white plate up. There's a tow hitch under there. How you get to it, I don't know. This is already a tow package. Small tow package. Well, that means we gotta what? drive this to freaking Moab. Whoa, that looks sweet! Is that where it's gonna be? Yeah, yeah. right there. Pretty close. Nice! Down! You know what we could do? We could sleep in this. Then we don't need an Airbnb. Yeah. She even That's... likes the idea. All right, so me and Owen have been working on Sunday today. Get this rear end set where it needs to be. Owen ripped out all the old suspension. We put the new axle in. We used our plumb bob, centered it in the centered it in the back of the Lincoln. We've got all our parts, got our strut towers, our links, all the good stuff. Wouldn't it look cool that high? Yeah. I like it. Let me see you get in it. Okay. I don't even know how I get it. I'll care. I'm in. I don't think I could get in. I don't think I could either. <laughs> All right, so we are in an undisclosed location underneath a undisclosed vehicle, and we are measuring for drive lines. All right, so that limo has a 20-foot drive shaft. We've got a front intermediate shaft that needs to go from the transmission to the transfer case. It's about 18 inches long. We've got a front drive shaft that goes from the transfer case to the front axle. It's like six feet long. Then we have three drive shafts in the rear. We're sending all of our yokes and all of our drive shaft pieces to full torque drive shafts out of Idaho. They're gonna build us a fully custom, fully balanced drive shaft system for this limo. So what we're gonna do here is we have these ballistic 16 inch coilovers. They've got dual springs. They so have a dual spring rate. One is 150 pounds, which is the top, and the bottom is a 200 pound spring, but it's just not enough for this humongous limousine. Figuring out what spring rate we actually need and then ordering some new springs. All right, so we're, we are working on the front end of the limo. So we got Chad's fab here. He's already got the rear geared. It's got 538 gears with Grizzly lockers from Yukon Gear and Axle. Now he's gonna be getting the Grizzly locker with the carrier and the 538 gears put in the front end. You're gonna wanna head over to Chad's Fabs. Link will be right here and it'll also be in the description and go check out how he's got these gears installed. He does a very, very fantastic job. Thanks. Let's see what we can do. <laughs> Got this bad boy in. Took a couple tries, but that's right on six or six and a half thousandths. So we'll call that good. Put some uh, marking compound on it, see what it looks like. All right, so Chad's got this all taken care of. Everything's been torqued up. I mean, he makes it look super simple because it's like five seconds in this video. But yeah. 
make sure you go watch how this was installed because it's actually pretty interesting. We appreciate your help. Thank you because this is something I know nothing about. Happy to do it. I'm looking forward to seeing it going down the main street in Moab. When so. you're hanging out the back door, oh, when yeah. you're hanging out the back window? Yeah, with my tongue hanging That's out. That's right. Yeah. So we're going to be cruising this thing yeah. here in a couple of days in Moab. So. Picture Hillbilly's butt hanging out the window. <laughs> yeah, just what we need. Cool. Oh, Tim, give me Perfect. <laughs> All right, so today we're gonna to be getting back to work on the world's largest off-road limo. Yeah. My goal is to work on brake lines. So we had our friends up at the Hosers, which is Elevated Hose and Supply. They hooked us up with some custom-made brake lines. This is all DOT approved. They made me a eight foot long brake line. So I'm gonna get that installed on one of these links on the rear end. I'm gonna get the rear differential cover back together, get new brake pads, all the stuff on the rear end and get this back end completely finished up. Once we get drive lines, we should be able to drive it. So I'm welding a stud for my brake line. Then I'll be able to take hard line out of here, up to a T right here. And my brake line that the hosers made me will plug right into that. I've got two sides, I've got a T right here. This is where our flexible hose is gonna hook in. We got these little zip tie brackets from Barnes Four Wheel Drive. So I've welded those on. I'm gonna double up the zip ties on each one. Hillbilly's gonna go up to the front. Pretty much we're doing an overhaul on the front end of this axle, just like we did on the Bronx Star. So when we get to Moab, we don't have any major issues, hopefully. Because when you're driving the Bronx Star and the world's largest off-road limo, we don't wanna have to call Rory to get towed. So I just got done doing ball joints, U-joint. Put the bearing back in. Now I'm getting ready to put the new worn hubs on. We've got the brake lines almost finished up. The elevated hose we had made, it goes all the way up into the junction box and for the ABS. The brake line system is just about done. We have one line that needs to go here to the caliper. We're gonna do that tomorrow and it's done. And we're back to work on the limo. I've got one thing I can do on this today, then we're headed over to work on the Bronx Star. Hillbilly got the rear brake pads all installed on this limo. I'm doing a power steering return line. Owen's gonna come and finish up a few things on his channel. So I'm gonna put a bubble flare on this so that I can get a line to stay on it. So our buddy Case came down to inspect the Lincoln and he doesn't love it. I didn't say that, I'm skeptical. He says that he wouldn't drive it to Moab and I'm sad that he would say that. This is basically gonna be like a jet plane going to Moab. It's gonna be so nice. A jet plane with flat tires and no wings. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna need 30, 35 PSI in these tires. I hope he changes his mind. I'm so skeptical, sad. skeptical. It's got all four, or four link in the rear, three wow. link up front, one ton gearbox, all brand new brakes, new gears. It's got 538s with Grizzly lockers. It's gonna need 538s. How much more do you get? Probably a lot. Holy. Got everything I can get done on the limo for the day. Owen's on his way, he's just gonna keep working. So we got Cody here helping. Hillbilly's working on a transmission mount. Let's see what he's done. A lot of welding, very hot welding. A lot of to cool. Now I'm just pressing in the bushings and the sleeve. This is from Barnes Four Wheel Drive. So this is a cross member bushing and we're gonna use it as our transmission mount. So we've got two tabs. Boom and boom. And we're gonna weld those two tabs to the cross member and then this is gonna bolt to the bottom side of the transfer case or the transmission. And that's gonna become our training mount. While Hillbilly's working on that, I'm gonna be working on the radiator with Cody and then we're gonna try to do some more cage stuff. Hillbilly's got this and drive lines to get installed. So we better get to work. What? Yeah. We, we might cry, cut cross members. Guess what, we're in, we're in Easter Jeep Safari today. I wonder if we got it done. I don't know. I don't know either. All right, so Hillbilly's under here getting the transmission mount all installed. This is the brackets that we were gonna use. We had to make it an inch and five eighths taller. So, programmed them up on the plasma, cut them out. Hillbilly's gonna get this all installed and welded in. So meanwhile, I was over here making some radiator mount brackets. This is my rubber lower mount. Once this cools down, I'm gonna insert that in there. You can see it's just about the same shape. It's the correct thickness. And then this bracket will actually go on the tube. Down here, we'll weld it, and that's gonna hold the lower mounts of the radiator. Then we'll do a bracket on the top, drill and tap it, and we'll have this to where we can install a radiator today. Dad, I got a joke for you. You got a joke for me? Why was Cinderella so bad at soccer? Why was Cinderella so bad at soccer? She couldn't kick the ball. Because she kept running away from the ball. Oh, that's funny. She kept running away from the ball. Even Lincoln thinks that's funny. Thanks, sweetheart.
All right, so we have some awesome news to tell you guys. Check this out. We have a brand new shirt in gray. We have a brand new shirt in black. Bronx Star. So we're gonna be pre-releasing these at the Moab Easter Jeep Safari. Come to our booth Wednesday from 2 to 8 p.m. We're gonna be doing a meet and greet and selling some shirts at Trailmater Shop. So we're gonna be releasing these at Moab also. So not one, but five. Check this out. We got the limo. We got the blow tack and stat. We got the old Bronx Star. We got the it ain't going no, that ain't going nowhere. And our flagship, Robbie Layton Nation sticker. You guys may have seen this in every single video from the Heavy Wrecker Olympics. We gave a thousand stickers away to 20 kids and they vandalized the entire place, not us. We're gonna be releasing all of these items on April 14th. We're gonna be doing a live stream. Those of you that are not attending the Easter Jeep Safari, you're gonna be able to get in on purchasing this stuff April 14th. That's a Friday, mark your calendars. Gonna be dropping some new merch and a brand new sticker pack. You don't wanna miss out, but if you are at EJS, hit us up. Wednesday, Trailmater Shop, 2 to 8 p.m. All right, so I'm just checking this rubber, making sure it goes in. The rubber comes out, it's installed. What we're gonna do with this, this is gonna go on the bottom of the radiator. That pin will go in it. This will allow for us to put this however, wherever we need, and we'll weld it in. So we'll do a little bit of grinding and fitting. I like it. We got the transmission mount all welded, bolted up. It ain't going nowhere. Have to reconfigure the this cross member because the drive line with it not even fully drooped at ride height it was about maybe an eighth of an inch so as soon as we droop it it would definitely hit so i have to notch it cut it weld a new upriser on it so that way it clears hopefully i'm not very good at angles and math so it's fighting me he says he's not very good but he's just about got it taken care of so he's got it all cut out he's getting the uprights up and over we're gonna weld that all in then what we're gonna do is lift the back and make sure that that drive line doesn't hit the cross member at any point in time i'm working on the radiator up here so i've got the lower mounts in position right here i'm getting the upper mounts made we've got the radiator right where it needs to be we've got hoses on it we're making sure it's all gonna fit and work and then we're gonna fully weld it all in. We're in crunch mode, so we're not showing a whole ton of stuff because we're just trying to get a ton of stuff done. We are literally running out of time. I'm gonna get these mounts that I just built for the top, drilled, tapped, and then we're gonna weld them in. And I'll show you how we're gonna do that here in just a minute. All right, so Hillbilly's getting those pieces cut. I've got my upper mounts all made. They're drilled, they're tapped. See right through that hole. I'm gonna go bolt them up tack them in place, pull the radiator out, fully weld these in, and then we've got our upper and lower mounts all finished. All right, so I got my upper mounts tacked in place. Now I'm gonna pull the radiator out, get that fully welded in, show you guys what it looks like, but it's turning out awesome. We got the lowers on rubber, we got the uppers on rubber. Hillbilly's back here getting this cross member all fit. What he's gonna do is he's gonna tack the two pieces in to get his top measurement. So I'm gonna get down in here and I'm gonna help him real quick, get that top measurement, and then he can build that hoop and get it welded in solid. I have cut angles, which I'm not very good at doing that, so Robbie had to come and help me figure the angles out. I was going to tack them in place, but now I'm just gonna hold them and Robbie's gonna grab a measurement of what length we need for the top bar so I can get it all welded up and get this hoop done. My radiator mounts are finished. I'm gonna let them cool down and then we're gonna install the radiator for good. Hillbilly's gonna get this hoop all welded up, get it tacked into place, and then we're gonna check the articulation. All right, so unfortunately, we need to address the situation. So two weeks ago, Big Dinner decided to quit. He wanted us to move up north and live closer to his fiance. We're not the most happy about it, but we do wish him well. So if you guys see him out in public, make sure to say hi and let him know we're all missing him. It's a little long. So I'm just gonna put a pry bar in here because we don't have the back body mount bolts in right now. I can put it in place. <laughs> they just want seats moving. We're gonna have to make sure the door is still shut before we weld. All right, so Hillbilly's been working on this for a couple of hours. We've got the drive shaft in, the upper hoop, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring the skid steer in and we're gonna articulate this and we're gonna make sure that the drive line doesn't hit. Hillbilly's gonna squat it at first. He's gonna push all the way down. We're gonna make sure it doesn't hit his cross member. And then he's gonna lift it up all the way and make sure that the drive shaft clears in all directions. All right, so right in here, it clears perfect. We have barely any room, but it clears. So spin of the drive shaft, nothing's touching. This is working perfect. So Hillbilly's gonna get this all welded back in. He's gonna cap off the metal that he cut, made some little pieces, and he's gonna have this all taken care of. So as you can see, you're gonna put that in the back, in the sides, and we'll get it all welded and have it done. All right, so the rear is installed. <laughs> now, two monkeys are trying to put this drive shaft in. 
Cool thing about this drive shaft is it is built at a two inch DOM. So it's literally just like our front links. Quarter inch wall, two inch. What's the back one built out of? Uh, like three inch. It's also DOM, but it's not as thick as this front one. Man, you're gonna have to take a day and just grease everything. Oh, the drive, that's what those long boxes are. The limo drive shafts are here. Oh, all five of them. I'm not excited to install all those. Tighten, tighten, keep on freaking tightening. You are never, ever, ever gonna believe it, but the front drive shaft is in. So is the next step getting it running and driving? <laughs> yeah. Have you been checking stuff off your checklist? Let's go check our checklist. Right here, check. Fuel lines, no. Fuel tank, no. Fixed brake lines, check. Cage, or just cross out the G and E. <laughs> so we got part of the cage. Battery box, no. Pro charger, no. Air filter, no. Drive lines, check it. Get it running, <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> brake gears in, nope. Brake axles in, nope. Exhaust, nope. Fuel trans case, nope. We oh didn't check gosh. very many off. You better add, put doors on. We don't need doors. Yeah, you, you gotta put the doors back on. We don't, we don't have doors. heat. We don't have heat, we don't have AC. We're gonna need the doors. It's All right. hot in Moab. So basically you can see that we have accomplished almost nothing. Well, last time we went to Moab, it snowed. Yes, that is true. Last time it snowed in Moab. So anyway, we've gotten a few things done, but not a lot. <laughs> Here he is, just making <laughs> the list bigger. Maybe doors. All right, as always, we appreciate you. If you enjoyed this video, go check out this one.